This week I want to focus on the person of Jesus. And as we move towards Christmas Day, I want to reinforce that behind all the Christmas festivities is the reality that Christmas is a celebration of Christ's birth and that this is no ordinary celebration. It's actually a celebration of God entering this world in human form. I know I'm making a bold statement here, but if you're sceptical, I hope you will bear with me before making a snap judgment on the validity of my claim. To support my statement, I want to look at it from two angles. First, does the Bible state that Jesus is God? And secondly, did Jesus himself confirm that he was God? My source will be the Bible, and I fully recognise that if you're a sceptic, you may doubt the accuracy of the Bible. However, I'm convinced that if you check out the authenticity of the Bible with an open mind, you will come to the conclusion that it is true and totally accurate. A good starting point for doing this is the website link that's appearing at the bottom of your screen right now. Okay, I want to start with what the Bible says and go straight to John, one of the four Gospel writers. In John 1 verse 1 he states the Word was God and later in John 1 14 he adds the Word became human and made his home among us. Now this same John was also the author of the book of Revelation, the final book in the Bible, and in chapter 19 verse 13 he described the appearance of Jesus like this. His eyes were like flames of fire and on his head were many crowns. A name was written on him that no one understood except himself. He wore a robe dipped in blood and his title was the Word of God. You may be wondering why John refers to Jesus as the Word. Why didn't he just call him Jesus? Well, we need to realize that John's main audience for his gospel was the Jews. And the Hebrew term for word also means God revealed. Quite simply, John was conveying to his Jewish audience that Jesus is, in fact, God revealed. I believe one of the clearest biblical confirmations that Jesus was in fact God in human form is found in Philippians 2 verses 5 to 8. Here the Apostle Paul writes, You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges, he took the humble position of a slave, and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. There are a number of other confirmations of the supernatural nature of Christ in Scripture, which I suggest you check out for yourself. Now I want to move on to what Jesus said about himself. One thing for sure, as critics are quick to point out, Jesus never said the words, I am God. However, when we put a collection of Jesus' statements together, we are left with no other conclusion than that Jesus did want us to know that he was God. Here are just a few. In an interchange with Philip, one of his disciples, he states, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and yet you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show him to you? And that's in John 14 verse 9. Clearly Jesus is saying whoever sees him is also seeing God. Further proof of Jesus' identity is in John 10 verse 30, in which he states, I and the Father are one. There is no ambiguity here. Finally, if we need any further evidence of the statements Jesus made regarding his godly identity, we only need to refer to a statement by his enemies, which is found in John 10, verse 33. We're stoning you, not for any good work, but for blasphemy. You, a mere man, claim to be God. Christ followers do not have any doubts as to Jesus' identity. He is God period. 
Scripture says he is, and Jesus himself said so when he came to earth. However, if you have doubts or have not accepted the Bible to be the authoritative document that it is, please take the time to explore the link I referenced for you earlier. If you find that the evidence in this link allays at least some of your doubts, I urge you to tune in to next week's TLC World Message to discover just what Christ's birth means for you personally. Thank you.